Here I am with another shady video and this time I'm gonna talk about the new mode, the new Northridge Foxtrot mode and I have some good news and also some bad ones. So the good news is that it's full with thermals so you can farm a bunch of them. But the bad news is guys that it's full of thermals and you're gonna be destroyed by them. Let me start with a couple of highlights. So first of all, the loot is trash. Don't waste your keys opening the safes and such because it's just simply not worth it. This mode is ideal to farm flashlights because many of the random bots are carrying flashlights on their random trashy guns. So take advantage of that, kill those bots, pick up the flashlight, easy money. The foxes appear three times during the game. They have pretty decent loot. One of them is always a sniper guy and the other one is an assault rifle guy. The sniper guy is more interesting. He's running in T4 with a Mosin or M110 or even AR30. Yeah, I got one. You heard that. I sold it for approximately 100,000 on the market. They are also carrying the log item, the event item. Sometimes both of them, sometimes just one of them. You can grab those and exchange them after the game and get some faction currency. I know it's in a biggie, but this is how you can complete the event, then do the puzzle thing, and then see some extra information about Arena Breakout and its story. Let's talk about the players you're gonna face in this new game mode. Since the loadout requirement is very low, it's 10K, the first group you're gonna find is the Naives. Basically people who have high hopes and then die due to you or terminal players. They enter the game with relatively cheap loadout, maybe just one gun without any equipment. I call them the scavs of the Foxtrot mode. With such a trash loadout, there is no way you're gonna get thermals. No way, you hear me? Dress up properly or you're gonna be destroyed. But I still understand like the rationale behind it. No loadout, cheap gun, and hoping for something that is very special and juicy. I get that, but let's jump over to the next group because that's, I think, the most viable one. Let's say the gamblers. Those who are not willing to put on a thermal, they don't want to risk it, but they dress up into T4 or T5 with a decent gun to hit the jackpot, basically to destroy a thermal player or a thermal team even. And I call them gamblers because basically they are risking 100,000 or 150 in the hope to get a million or even more. By the way, I've been doing the same. So I've been not running with thermals, I've been a gambler in this game mode and it works. And the third group is obviously the elite madmen, the rich guys, the ones with the thermals, the ones with the T6s, the ones with the big bags and the flashlights and they are entering the mode hunt people, to destroy people and grab everything from them. This video has nothing against thermal players, so if you are playing with a thermal, your objective should be to destroy other people who are also wearing thermals, otherwise like everything else you find, especially from the naives or the gamblers, it's not gonna make you rich. And I guess this is what you're doing anyways without me telling you, so let's summarize it. We have three groups and out of them the naives, I think it's not really viable. If you're a gambler, okay, go for it. Maybe you're gonna get lucky. Like, I was lucky. I, I got a free thermal because that guy just, I don't know, fell off the cliff and it was just laying there. Like, thermal, full T6, everything, 1.2 million for free. And then the elite madman, of course it works. Put those thermals into action and show the community how it's being done. All right, let's talk about how to survive this map. And this is not for thermal players, obviously, because if you are a thermal players, I have the assumption that you know what you're doing. But if you are not, you are in big danger against those thermal guys. But that's not the only threat. Actually, the foxes that appear are pretty hard to fight. So don't just run towards them because you're gonna be dead. But here are a couple of things. When the game starts, start moving to the center of the map. Maybe damn because you're gonna be close to all of the locations by the time the first foxes appear. Use a good headset, the GS2, because it's gonna be important that you are not making noise, so don't shoot the bots, avoid them if you can, but if you hear shots, then that should be your direction, and for that, you're gonna need a GS2. When the foxes appear, you fight them, and you start to loot them, and then quickly escape, and I need to emphasize it quickly, because other teams 
are gonna swarm that location. One squad, two squad, or even three squads are gonna appear because after they see the notification that the foxes have been killed, they're gonna know that you're gonna be there for at least another minute. So you don't have more than 60 seconds to loot those guys and then quickly get away. Another survival tip is to hug the rocks, cliffs, try to hide yourself, hide yourself even more than you usually do. Try to be in the game until there is like 15 minutes on the timer. Because by that time, many players are gonna be already dead or trying to extract. As I said, it's not worth looting the hotel, so completely avoid that area. But in this case only, because on lockdown, hotel is your primary objective. Here, hotel, enemy well, detected. there may be some enemy players, but you're not gonna find loot, so therefore, unnecessary danger or threat. Instead, use this mode to farm rank points and try to grab equipment, guns, armors from other players. And if you are lucky, you're gonna get some thermos. If you are a non-thermal player, then pray not to face too many thermal players. Or if you do face them, then I wish you to be lucky. Try to spot them from behind or from the side and then get your thermal. And if you are a thermal player, I wish you not to be shot from the side, ratted, camped or third parted. I wish you even more thermals. And if you fall into the naive category, then all you need is a miracle. Happy hunting. Happy shooting, shoot loot, subscribe, see you next time. JD out. Bye.